Eight months ago, Jordi was looking for someone to run the Premiere Basics channel, this channel. At the time, I was actively looking for a job as a video editor and before I knew it, I was on a call with Jordi. He gave me a task that I had to finish in three days. The only thing I didn't tell him is that I had absolutely no clue how to make motion graphics. So I had to learn all of that first before I could start working on a task. But how did I learn all this stuff in such a short time period? Well, I did an exercise that taught me the most important techniques and today I'm gonna pass it on to you guys. First of all, you need a clear goal. You can't learn motion graphics by just staring at the interface. So let's create this futuristic business card animation. A typical tutorial like any other, but it's the way that you follow these steps that will make a big difference in your editing journey. You'll understand what I mean during the video. First, find a clip with some movement and drag it in the timeline. It doesn't really matter what kind of video. Next, go to the window menu on top and open up the essential graphics. Select the rectangle tool and draw a shape like a business card. In the appearance panel, disable the fill color and enable the stroke. Adjust the thickness until it looks super thin. Make the corners round to make it look even better. Now, as we move forward, try to create your entire motion graphic within one layer. That's a really good practice for when you're following a tutorial where they don't do that. It's time to fill up the business card. Drag the background video underneath the shape. Head over to the effect browser and find the Gaussian blur effect. Then drag it above the background. The effect will work on all the layers underneath it. Go to the effect controls and increase the blurriness to your liking. We want the blur to only work on the business card. To do that, we're gonna enable the fill again to use it as a mask by enabling mask with shape. Also enable the mask only fill option. This will reveal the stroke we created before. If you're following a tutorial like this, always do something extra. Like maybe don't use the Gaussian blur, just use another blur instead. That is how I learned so many new things so much faster. Next, we're gonna use some techniques that I still use every day when I'm editing these Premiere Basics videos. I wanna add a logo to my card, so what I'm gonna do is drag it on top within the essential graphics. To match the style, you can use the ramp effect to make the logo white. This works on every PNG, by the way. But as you can see, it, <laughs> it doesn't work. And that is because the ramp effect is not just applying on the logo, but on the other layers as well. This is why you need to select the ramp and the PNG, and then click the folder icon. Now the effect will only be applied to the layers inside the folder. You can do the same with the background and then give it a name. You know, stay organized. Of course, we still need to go to the effect controls and change the start color to white. Now the PNG is completely white. Next, I wanna make my card flip around. To do that, find the basic 3D effect and drag it on top of everything we have. Head over to the effect controls and we're gonna set the swivel to 180 degrees as we're starting to look at the back of the card. Then set a keyframe. Move forward in time and set the swivel to zero. That way the background of the card matches with the original one. However, the animation looks pretty bad. Think for yourself what's missing. If I don't explain it, I want you to try and figure it out yourself. That's the best way of learning something. I'll give you a tip. With movement comes motion blur and that's where the next effect comes in. Directional blur. Drag it on top of the other stuff and head over to the effect controls. Move the player to the moment where the card faces you with the thin side. Set the direction to 90 degrees and the blur length to whatever fits your animation. Of course, don't forget to set a keyframe. Now set the blur length to zero at the start and at the end of the animation. Don't forget to do something with those keyframes. Now, as you can see, the logo is flipped because of the basic 3D effect. To flip it back, find the horizontal flip effect and put it in the logo folder. Go to the effect controls and find the opacity for the logo. Move the player to the moment that the card has turned around. Set the opacity to zero and create a keyframe. Move one frame back and set the opacity to 100. Now the logo disappears when the card turns around. Cool, now learning to become a creator is really difficult. Whether it's short form, live stream, product videos, travel vlogs, video consumption is still on the rise. If you want to create effective and scroll-stopping videos but don't know where to start, then you're in luck because there's a free course here on YouTube which is called The Beginner's Guide to Creating Video, which is from Storyblocks, by the way, the sponsor of today's video. Storyblocks is a team of experts and a lineup of professional video creators like YC Imaging, Shannon Beverage, and of course Jordi from this channel will gather around to teach you the fundamental steps to creating high quality video and getting it out into the world. Super fast and no technical experience needed. From concept to distribution, each step is broken down into short, focused episodes with key tips so that you can jump into what you want to learn. Or you can binge watch them all under an hour. The link to that course can be found in the description down below. But that's not all that Storyblocks has to offer. The background video that I'm using is actually a stock asset that I downloaded from them. With the Premiere Pro plugin, you can browse through an unlimited selection of professional assets such as time lapses, nature videos, or even more specific clips like creators making a video. I actually use this in every single Premiere Basics video. It helps me tell my story to you guys. Get started with Storyblocks now and take back creative control by clicking the first link in the description down below. Or you can go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. Now let's continue with the business card. Let's 
let's think about some stuff that could make this card look even better. We can of course add some text. Type in your name for example. Click on the selection tool and position it on the card to your liking. Once the text is there, go look for the crop effect and then drag it above the text layer. Of course, don't forget to put it in a folder. The crop effect is super underrated as it can do so much stuff. So definitely go and explore this one. You know what? Here's an example. With the crop effect selected, head over to the program monitor. Create a small box around the text. If you now change the position of it, it will disappear because of the crop. Set a position keyframe somewhere at the start of the video. Then move a few frames back and bring the text out of the frame. Now think about how we can make this animation a little bit better or a little smoother. The next part of this exercise is masking, or is it? Select the rectangle tool and draw a shape around the text. I like it in the same style as the outline of the cards. Add some rounded quarters to the shape and here comes the big trick. Head over to the effect controls and go to opacity. Click the pen tool and in the top left corner, create a little square that reveals a small part of the rectangle. Set the playhead to where you want the animation to start and create a bad keyframe. Then move a few frames forward by using the scroll wheel and make the outline reveal. Keep doing this until you're all the way around the shape with the feather of the mask until it looks natural. At the beginning you can animate the opacity to hide this little part that reveals at the start of the video. That looks cool, but we're not there yet. Now there's a different way you can do this, by using a single effect of the effect library. Try to figure that one out for yourself. Again, challenge yourself to follow a tutorial differently and make it better. The next effect of this exercise has leveled up my animation skills so much. I added this Premiere logo to the card, but I want it to be more alive. To do that, duplicate it and find the Gaussian blur effect in the effect library. Drop it on the first clip and increase it. This will create a glow underneath the logo. To decrease the intensity, all you need to do is lower the opacity. This is something I found out by messing with random effects in Premiere. So don't be afraid to try out some other stuff. What's the worst that can happen? I again used the crop effect to make the logo appear from below. So we did most of the stuff in the graphics layer, except for the background. What if there's a way to also put the background in there? Let's find out. If you drag it to the bottom of the list, it will also be affected by the applied effects. But we've learned that we can isolate those effects by putting them in to a folder. So select everything but the background. Click the folder icon and voila. Oh, and by the way, make sure to share your animation with me. You can tag us on Instagram. Now remember what I said about the crop effect being the most important? Well then definitely check out this video here on my left because you need to learn about the crop effect. Thank you guys for watching and as always, stay creative.